The West Newton Armory is one step closer to becoming an affordable housing building. This week, the city received the keys to the building and are now awaiting requests for proposals from developers. On behalf of the Adjutant General, Major General Keefe of the Massachusetts National Guard, I'd like to hand the mayor the keys to the building. It's official. The West Newton Armory is now a city-owned building as the keys were passed from Colonel Mullen to Mayor Ruth Ann Fuller. The purchase price of the armory from the state's Division of Capital Asset Management and Maintenance was $1 if the city agreed to create permanently affordable housing and related services. It felt like a while to do this, but actually started in 2016 where the governor made a decision that any state property where the community was willing to take it and take, make a commitment to affordable housing would in fact be available for a dollar so other people can get this deal too. Um, and uh, credit to the city here, to the mayor, to, to the delegation, thank you guys, uh, to everyone who um, really had to come together to make this possible. After years of planning and presentations to the city, Newton's City Council approved the purchase of the armory on February 1st, 2021. The acquisition of the West Newton Armory offers the city a terrific opportunity to do housing that's so difficult to achieve, permanently affordable housing. Um, it's discussed, but we, we rarely accomplish it, so I'm really happy that this is happening. As one of the Ward 3 councillors for this neighborhood and a longtime supporter, as Mayor Fuller said, and uh, Ted Hesmahan said, of affordable and fair housing, I'm so pleased that this is happening in my backyard. For me, this is a YIMBY moment, a yes in my backyard opportunity. The Armory's different uses over the years have not gone unnoticed, nor will be forgotten. In 1990, Mayor Mann opened up the Armory uh, with the uh, cooperation, collaboration of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and, and the Guard uh, to, as a temporary shelter for people who are homeless. As everyone here knows who's from Newton, Newton has not always been so welcoming to people who are chronically homeless. So I'm very, I'm very proud that we're going to get to reuse this building for 100% affordable housing. The number of affordable housing units is yet to be determined, but could be anywhere from 20 to 60. The request for proposals started in July 2021 and ends on September 30th, 2021. The city is seeking to partner with a developer to lease and redevelop the almost 27,000 square foot armory building. We open the bids. We'll see how many we get. I'm hearing good things through the grapevine that we've got some exciting proposals coming our way. Once the proposals are in, they will go to the city's evaluation committee to decipher which proposals move forward to be vetted through different committees and the public. Things like this take a while. Uh, there'll be first of a selection of a developer and then there'll be a period in which the city will work with the developer on refining the proposal and figuring out where the funding is going to come from to make it happen. And then there's a whole other phase that will involve permitting. Um, for the developer in terms of what they're going to seek to do here. And I really look forward to seeing what possibilities there are for this cool and significant building to stay in Newton. The armory was built in 1910 and housed the National Guard for over 100 years. But due to the changing needs of the National Guard over the past century, armories like this have become obsolete. The history of Newton's militia and National Guard goes back centuries. The city of Newton has had a long uh, association with the National Guard. Behind me you'll see the letters MVM. It stands for Massachusetts Volunteer Militia. Before that it was the Massachusetts Militia. 1907, the Massachusetts Volunteer Militia became the Massachusetts National Guard. The Newton Company of Foot, as it was called back then, was organized 1681. When towns were formed, three, two things they had to have. They had to have a, a, a church, and they had to have a militia company. All men 16 to 60 had to enroll in the militia. They had to, they drilled once a, uh, when, when the town was first formed, once a week, then later on once a month. And it was from Newton that the Newton Militia Company marched to uh, the sound of the guns along the way to, to uh, the, what was called the Lexington Alarm on 19 April 1775. Newton men then went on to fight the Newton Militia at Bunker Hill, Saratoga, and the other uh, battles of the American Revolution. Uh, after the war, uh, again, all men, 18 to 45, though, had to enroll in the militia. So Newton has a long militia history, and it's an eight, I'll, side, 
Go right to 1870, the Claflin Guards, Company L of the 1st Infantry, was reorganized after the Civil War, named after the governor who came from Newton as an honor. Uh, 1898, this unit, which had an army somewhere in Newton, I'm not sure where, uh, marched to the Spanish-American War. And when this army was sighted, it was sighted on the tracks of the Boston Albany Railroad for a specific reason. The troops could march right to the closest rail station, get on the train, go to South Station, or Camp Framingham. And that's what they did in 1916. Uh, I should say that the, the armory was opened in the 1911. Uh, most armories were built, by the way, for about $60,000 by the state. Um, and the Newton Armory was also a, a kind of a military YMCA. What do I mean by that? One night a week, uh, the Newton Company, C of the 5th Infantry, had a form up here. They were issued their weapons, they marched around, they did some training. But during the week, it was open every day for basketball. Uh, athletic, the guard had athletic teams. There was a, uh, there's probably, m many of the armories had bowling alleys. I think this might have had one. And uh, basketball, and some of the teams were so good in the National Guard that routinely in the 1920s and 30s they would play Harvard, Tufts, and the other colleges uh, here in the Boston area. The newly renovated armory is located next to public transit and walkable to West Newton Village Center. John Adams, Newton News, West Newton.